Now your certified most accurate for zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. Reading is so key. I always had favorite books and series when I was growing up. I'm sure you did too. Yes, I mean, I wasn't a big bookworm, but on rainy days, I mm -hmm. love to just sit on my couch with a blanket and a good book in hand. Uh, rain is in the forecast mm -hmm. later this week, <laughs> especially Friday. And it looks like those chances for rain will continue into the upcoming weekend. It was dry yesterday. We're in for a dry day today. Most of the day tomorrow is dry, and I say most of the day because we could see some patches of drizzle tomorrow morning. A I would say a slight chance for showers Thursday, maybe a thunderstorm. Higher chance for showers and possible thunderstorms on Friday. Live look outside sunrise at 748. Raul B. Rodriguez Law Weather Camera showing you things are pretty quiet here in San Antonio. It is 60 degrees, mostly cloudy. South southeast wind at nine miles an hour. Air temperatures are in the 50s and 60s. So certainly a milder start to the day should see temperatures drop a little more within the next hour or two. The humidity is climbing. Uh, we're seeing dew points that are up in the upper 50s to low 60s. It'll continue to climb as we go through the day. Tomorrow morning, that soupy air mass will be here with the dew points in the uh, mid 60s in many spots. Drier air moves in tomorrow afternoon as a dry line pushes towards the I-35 corridor, but it does look like it will stay pretty humid with dew points in the 60s from San Antonio to the east. That high humidity then spreads uh, farther west on Thursday as that dry line retreats back towards the north and west. Uh, there is some patchy fog this morning, nothing too widespread, but just watch for the south along I-37, east along I-10, even northbound along I-35. The cloud cover is increasing and we're seeing the patches of fog because low level moisture is increasing here at the surface, but there's also an increase in moisture aloft. You can see that cloud cover coming Coming in from the west and southwest. Dry skies from uh, the Colorado Rockies on east, the eastern seaboard looking great, but notice there is some rain and snow out west. As we go through the day, we'll see some peaks of sun, better chance for some sun farther west. Uh, for tomorrow, cloudy and foggy with patchy drizzle. That's in the morning. By the afternoon, it gradually clears out. We'll see highs getting into the 80s and perhaps low 90s out west. To Thursday, the cloud cover returns, so does the chance for some patchy fog. Thursday afternoon, we'll see, oh, I would say, isolated to scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm. Higher rain chance on Friday as a cold front comes in. This will produce scattered showers, couple of thunderstorms. We'll have to watch if any of those storms get on the strong side. Behind that frontal boundary, an upper level disturbance nearby will help to enhance our rain chances for the upcoming weekend. No severe weather for the area Thursday, but notice Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, north along I-35, there's the chance for isolated to scattered strong to potentially severe thunderstorms. That risk may head a little farther south into our area Friday. More clouds this morning with patches of fog, milder temperatures as well. This afternoon, do expect expect more clouds than sunshine, but it does warm up despite the clouds high 76. Clouds would decrease uh, throughout the day in the western zone, so they'll be warming up to 81. Low 70s in the hill country, upper 70s in the eastern zone. Tomorrow, 61 to 86, becoming partly sunny. Thursday, 67 to 82, that 30% rain chances in the afternoon. For Friday, up to a 50% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms that may be on and off throughout the day. 75 continues to cool down this weekend. 40% rain chance this weekend. Now it won't be a complete washout. I'm not expecting any widespread rainfall, but it's going to be uh, one of those weeks and weekends where you want to keep that four zone weather app so you can keep an eye on radar if you do have any outdoor plans. This is available online at news4sa.com. Click on the weather tab.